The orb of Deborah seems in recent days to have developed all of the interesting discussion without, of course, much truth behind it. I am Homer the Younger, a historian of the ancient artifacts, and I will, for the proper payment, disclose the truth. And having been properly paid, here it is. Long ago, so long ago that even the elves used stone axes, there lived a queen of legend, Tihoth, who sat upon a throne said to have been forged by the fire elementals in the still hot earth when the world was formed. Tihoth was a powerful wielder of raw magic. In fact, it is said that her story takes up several volumes and the different schools of magic are in fact simply summaries of the spells she used in each volume. Tihoth had two sons, Davros, a sweet boy whom she loved, and Bestova, a jealous trickster who was mean, cruel, and greedy. Tihoth decided that when she died, and even the most powerful mortals are, well, mortal, that her throne should go to Davros. But Bestova, the trickster, wanted the throne for himself. And so Bestova tricked Davros by putting a hot coal in his soup so that Davros burned his tongue and could not speak. Tihoth used her most powerful healing spells. But while she was able to save Davros's tongue, Davros was left with a stutter that left him unable to properly utter the spells of power. Tihoth was devastated, but she was not willing to give up on Davros. Tihoth had a beautiful pearl necklace which was her prized possession. Now, as she is a, was a giantess, each perfect iridescent pearl was the size of a human fist. But out of her love, she took the pearls from her necklace and gave them to Davros to put in his mouth when he was speaking and instructed him to practice, oh, even above the roar of the beasts from the royal zoo, until he could speak clearly without a stutter. Now, you may have heard a similar tale of the Greek orator Demosthenes, who having heard the tale of Davros, was inspired to imitate him. It took a long time before Davros was able to speak the words of magic clearly and powerfully. And as he spoke the words, the magic creeped into his very saliva and was absorbed into the pearls until they too became imbued with the great magical power of auditory. Well, of course, Bestova mounted a rebellion. And while Deverus was at the family zoo, Bestova struck a powerful blow with his staff, striking Deverus in the mouth. A blow that killed Davros and shattered all but one of the pearls. With his death curse, however, Davros killed Bestova as well. And the legacy of Tihoth's family came to an end. But what you ask of the one pearl that survived, that was snatched by one of the beasts of the zoo. A manticore who, as it turns out, had been a favorite pet of Estova. That manticore escaped and carried off the pearl. The pearl has come to be known as the Orb of Defros and is still in the possession of the descendants of the manticore who spirited it off. 
the shards of the other pearls, feeling an affinity for the orb, have often been collected and made into compasses which point to the orb with which they wish so vehemently to be reunited. That is the true story of the orb. And I ask you to remember that with knowledge comes power, and with power comes responsibility. Use this knowledge well.